Hey, welcome back, friends. Let's go wild camping. I just got to uh, the place where I'm going to go hike in. We're going to do a wild camp. We're like um, 24 hours right before we're supposed to get this unbelievable heat wave. So I figured, you know what? Let's get out here and have a nice camp. Yeah, it's going to be fun. You know, I'm just hiking into um, uh, one of my favorite spots that I like to come to. I've, co I've come here so many times to do like gear reviews, um, day camping, ASMRs, uh, day camping, tarp setups, and all kinds of stuff. So I'm very familiar with this uh, set of wood, set of woods, set of woods, set of woods. This wooded area here, <laughs> pretty familiar with it. And I always thought to myself, this is a great spot. Why is it that I've never camped here? So guys, that's what we're doing tonight. I'm at my favorite local spot and we're gonna do a wild camp here. And I figured I would use one of the tarp shelters. You know, when I first started doing all this outdoor stuff, I was out here doing like tarp configurations, this, that, and the other, and you know something, might as well sleep in one. On my uh, bike packing adventure I did not too long ago, one of the uh, shelters that, I mean, um, the shelter that I stayed in that night when I camped, that was in my yard, but that was just a little tarp shelter that I've always wanted to try out, and tonight will be another one. Uh, everything I have to camp, as you can see, is on my backpack right here. I got a 55 liter pack. I don't even know the name of this pack. I've been using it for a while. I forget the name of it some cheapo pack that I bought, but it hasn't let me down. It's like a, it's like a 45 liter pack with like a 10, 10 liter extension. So it's a 55 liter pack, that's what I'm using. So everything I have is everything I have. So we're gonna make it work. Got a new beer to try out. None of that Coors Light tonight. <laughs> Got a new beer to try out. And uh, yeah, see you when I get up there guys. This hill is a little fun with the pack on. <laughs> Finally getting up here. Oh my God. Well, this is where I'm at. There's like a 360. <laughs> Let me get this pack off, sit down, and I'll show you what I got for a setup. Oh my God, I'm dying. And the humidity hasn't even really got here yet. It's supposed to be coming in the next few days. So, it sounds like someone's riding a dirt bike through there. But all right, anyways, I'm gonna get this pack off. I'll chat with you in a second. I'm in various stages of uh, setting up. So this is my pack. I get everything here. I'm not gonna go through doing up the whole setting, uh, setting, set up. So I'm just gonna set up, chill out, and uh, then I'll show you what we're working with here. But um, yeah, this is my spot. Maybe it looks a little familiar to you, but this is a local spot, fairly local, um, that I like to come to. And this set of woods, I've always thought, you know something? Why don't I camp out here? It's, it's awesome. Uh, we're, so we're doing a, it's a complete wild camp. I'm in the middle of the woods. We're not on a hip camp. We're not on anybody's private woodland. We're not at a campground. We're just in the woods and we're going to set up and uh, hopefully we have a successful camp. So uh, let me get to moving and grooving here and I'll bring you back in a second. All right. Well, I think I'm basically set up. Uh, this is one of the shelters setups that I've done out here in the woods before so I figured you know what Might as well sleep in it I'm gonna drop the uh, The front down a little bit so I have it enclosed. I'm not sure you know, maybe I'll leave it open Maybe I'll drop it down. I'm not too sure or maybe I'll just drop one side down have um the little twig stove or as I like to now call it the smelter 
uh yeah you know who you are you nicknamed it the smelter that's what it is and reason being i happen to put that twig stove through a lot i mean i i basically you'll see <laughs> someone uh, kind of joked around that uh I could be uh, using it as a smelter because the flames are so high. But yeah, so this is uh, my little setup. Everything you see here fit in my backpack. Fit in uh, my backpack and I'll show you that. I've been using it for a while. I only use this when I'm, uh, oh God, when um, I'm hauling a lot of stuff. I, it's, it's a no-name brand, honestly. It's, what the heck is this, Luco or Luco or... <laughs> uh lu luvoco it's a 45 liter pack with a 10 liter uh extension on the top so i love that thing i've been using it for a while so there's that i have the oh if i can lean over get the outdoor vitals pillow the nature hike 300 sleeping bag the cheapo cheapo sleep mat that i'm still using and I got the little uh, closed cell mat right there. And my ground sheet is the Wise Owl Outfitters Bigfoot. My little coffee station right there. Nature hike chair. It's definitely thermocell season, so, and I've got some bug spray. Finally feels good to sit down. <laughs> but yeah, it's been a minute since uh, I got up here. I've just been kind of taking my time, setting up, figuring out where I'm going to orientate the, the tarp. And uh, this is where I go. This is all like a local wooded area. Um, I hike in and um, I've come here to do various different things here, whether it's like, you know, testing out gear or doing setups. And I've always thought to myself, this would be a great place to camp. And I've never camped here, so I figured, you know what, why not camp here? So tonight, that's what I'm going to do. So, oh, and uh, I have a new bear to try out. Uh, usually I always drink Coors Light. Some people hate it, some people like it. I just happen to like it because it's really light. It doesn't have like a real strong beer taste. But today I thought I'd try something a little different. Uh, this is Blue Moon Belgian White. Um, and it's, I, I asked the guy at the liquor store, can you help me out? I want to try, you know, some light beers. I only want one beer. I want to try a new beer every time I go out camping. So, and he suggested this one. He said it really wasn't too strong. He said it has a little bit of a hint of oranges. So, Blue Moon, Belgian White. This is a Belgian style wheat ale with Valencia orange peel. I don't know. I don't even know if this is a beer or, or not, but you know, this is what we're going to be drinking. So let's crack it open and see how it tastes. <laughs> and then uh, for dinner, I just brought, uh, I brought an MRE. So whatever I have to eat will be that. And I'll show you that in a second. Let's try this blue moon. It's uh, still kind of cold. I don't know if I like this. Um, hold on. I mean, if you like beer and you like oranges, then this would be a good beer for you. It doesn't have an overpowering orange flavor, but you do notice it's there. Like after you take the sip, you're like, oh, oranges doesn't smell like oranges but anyways this is what it is it's not too bad I only brought one so I am gonna drink it I'll put it in a koozie this isn't gonna work okay well we have half we have half a chilled beer Mm. Not too bad. I mean, it's doable. I bet ice cold this would be good. It's, it's, it, I don't know, maybe it's growing on me.
Have you ever tried Blue Moon? What's your favorite beer? I know I always ask, and not a lot of people drink. I really don't drink, and, and pe people who know me, they know this to be true, all right? I know people always say that. Oh, I don't drink as they're sitting there pounding beers in the woods. But uh, I like to bring, I like to bring at least one or two beers only when I come out and camp. I thought, it, you know, it's a nice thing to have, nice to unwind, have a nice little cold brew, chill out at camp. And uh, yeah, so that's, that's kind of where I'm at right now. Let me show you what I brought for dinner. All right, I don't, I don't love it. I probably won't drink that again. But I brought uh, an MRE to try. This is, and I didn't choose it because it's vegetarian. I just, cho I chose it because it's just something different, and I wanted to try it. But it is a vegetarian taco pasta. It has vegetable crumbles with pasta, taco style sauce. Um, I think it has sausage crumbles in there as well, so we have that. And uh, we'll go through the contents of this in a little while when I do um, decide to open that and get into that. But yeah, I'm excited to camp. We're wild camping. I've got a few things uh, coming up. I know you like the stealth camping, so I will be doing some crazy stealth camping. Um, I don't know if you guys just saw that, but I did an, uh, an abandoned... Um, hospital camp out that was insane that was insane it was during a nor'easter so i know you guys like to see some of that type of stuff too so i will be doing some more of that so stay tuned and um what i've been doing lately um if you care you know some of you might not i don't know but uh what i've been doing lately is uh, i've been doing some exploring and that's what i usually um and i started out when i started my channel i started out doing exploring you know like uh, ruins and abandoned buildings and this that and the other thing and I kind of parlayed into this whole outdoor space um, it just seemed like a natural progression I love the outdoors anyway so I'm gonna combine the two so going forward beginning today actually on this video here at the end of all my videos unless it's like a gear review I don't think companies would like that but <laughs> at the end of um, my videos I am going to be showing a few clips of my abandoned adventures just so you can get a glimpse of you know what I've been up to where I'm going and uh, what I'm seeing and um, so I will be doing that so at the end of the videos I'll be attaching um, the clips from some abandoned adventures and wait till you see some of these places um I, I always get amazed at the stuff that gets left behind in abandoned buildings it's 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 unbelievable whether they die or there's no family to take over and everything just sits there frozen in time so anyways That'll be at the end of the video, and I'll tell you what you're watching. But I'm going to chill out for a little bit, have some more of that beer, straighten out camp a little bit, and maybe gather some more wood for my um, fire that I'm going to have in a little while. And after that beer, I'm going to have some coffee, and I don't know. You know, this is camp. We're going to relax, and I'll see you guys in a minute. I think I'm going to sleep with it open. I'm not sure. Um, maybe for the fresh air to kind of see what's going on. I think I'll be all right. It's not supposed to rain. If it does rain, I think I'll still be protected. Oh, hey, hey, mosquito, how you doing? Uh, I got the flex tail right here. This is my favorite flex tail. I know they have the little zero pump, but I happen to prefer this one because of the light. I do have another light as well. I have the Kaizen light. Is this on? No, this isn't on. Oh, it's on now. All right, it's off. All right, so I got that. But yeah, I think for, uh, for now, I'm going to gather up some more wood. And we'll get us a fire going. Yeah, it's supposed to get really humid in the next couple of days. So I figured, you know what? I better get out here today. I don't like being miserable in the heat, you know. <laughs> I feel like I got a buzz off this beer already. It's just like one beer and I'm already at that place, you know, where you're like, yeah, everything's cool, everything's chill. <laughs> Anyways, how's your summer going? Or is it even summer yet? It's 
technically still spring. But uh, what have you been up to? What have you been doing? Do you get outdoors? Or do you camp at all? Let me know how you've been uh, spending your time, your free time. Yeah, this is amazing. I just, I happen to love this. I'm a little nervous, you know, I'm not gonna lie. I'm a little nervous being out here, doing this whole wild camping. Just, you know, finding a spot that you like, that you feel semi-safe and just pitching up. Uh, yeah, I love it. Nothing better. All right, I'm gonna collect up some wood. That's what I'm gonna do. Last time I was here using the twig stove, I stashed up a bunch of wood just under here. It's not like I really had to or anything, but my twigs, my twig stove. All right, let's get this going. Ooh. Oh. Yeah, so I've just been sitting here. I'm almost finished with this beer, but I just wanted to tell you something a little funny. Um, I really don't drink that much. And trying to do this as clear and concise as possible. With this beer right here, I just had one of them. I'm hammered. <laughs> I'm like, I'm drunk, okay? <laughs> And um, that's another reason why I really don't drink. I'm a lightweight, but I like enjoying, you know, having a nice beverage when I go out and do a camp. But yeah, I accidentally got drunk. <laughs> so I don't know if that's your goal, then this is the beer for you. One beer for me. Yeah, it was, it was enough. <laughs> I just thought that was something funny. It's just something I did notice. I'm sitting here like, I'm like, I'm hammered. I'm like, I'm drunk. I'm actually drunk. So, but I'm gonna chill out. Not gonna finish that beer. There's probably just like a little bit left. I'm, all, I'm done. I'm all set. <laughs> I'm gonna relax and um, get a coffee going. Yeah, that might be a good idea. And then a little bit. You know, I'll go into the tent here. I'll show you. Oh. <laughs> we'll go in and uh, I'll cook up some dinner in a little bit. Isn't this a good angle? You like the filming? Yeah, just pick up the camera. Oh, God damn. <laughs> Holy shit. I could have edited that out, but you know what? No. <laughs> Wow, I don't know how people do it. They go camping and they drink, do a lot of drinking. Oh man, hell no. I don't know how you do it. What the hell? I got string stuck on here, what's going on? I think it's time for coffee. <laughs> I'm gonna make dinner a little later, do something a little different. I'm just gonna make dinner like inside the shelter in a little bit. Okay.
It's a good thing I'm not making cowboy coffee right now because I don't even think I'd be able to make it coffee. Make the cowboy coffee right now. Wow. <laughs> Why can't I get this on? All right, well, well. All right, let's try it this way. It's not working. Approximately ten hours later. working right. Yeah. I'm not going to do that right now. <laughs> I'm going to get a cup of coffee on. Sun's getting ready to go down. Get some dinner on pretty soon. Look how beautiful this wooded area is. I love it. And then of course, we got the raging fire going out of the twig stove right there. All right, see you, see you back in a minute guys. I think I decided to just sleep open style. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna close that. Um, it's really nice. It's only supposed to go down to like 68 degrees tonight, 67, 68 degrees. That's perfect weather. I don't wanna be enclosed up in the tent. I'm gonna leave the thermocell running. I'll give myself a little bit of, um, you know, a little extra squirt of bug spray or something before I go to bed later on. But uh, as of right now, it's beautiful out and I imagine like once I'm in my sleeping bag everything will be fine so and first light is like what five o'clock in the morning or something like that so I'm not too worried about it you know it's a little nerve-wracking because you know I'm not you're not at a campground this whole wild camping thing is just like basically you know some way you feel safe somewhere you might want to camp and uh, yeah, I'm just uh, giving it a shot. I can't wait to get in some stealth camping though. I got some great locations for you guys. And um, I don't know, it's just been fun. You know, I've been doing, like I said, a lot of abandoned adventures and uh, some camping. I've been scoping out some places. Um, I have a few hikes. There just isn't enough time, you know, for all the things that you want to do. So you just got to get out there as much as you can 
and um, you don't need to spend a lot of money you know I've said that before but to get out into camping I'm still using the same sleeping pad and I hate the sleeping pad I could easily go out and buy another sleeping pad but I'm gonna get my money's worth out of this thing I'm pretty short so having a pillow in a sleeping pad I really don't like so I turned it around my feet come right up to the edge of it so it's it's not even a problem you know I'm gonna still use that sleeping pad until it either pops a hole or so one of these days I decide to get another one, you know. I think that comes to a point where you max out, you know, on getting gear. It's like I already have a couple of tents. I think I'm good, like with everything I have. There's no really there's no need to, you know, go out and buy anything else. So I'm pretty content. You know, I'm gonna get that dinner on in a little bit. I'm just gonna chill out for a little while, keep feeding the twig stove and bring you back in a little bit, guys. Enjoy this coffee. I need this coffee. That one beer just did me in. One. One beer. <laughs> yeah, I'll talk to you in a little bit. About 10 to 7 right now. I'm loving that it stays lighter out longer. I mean, technically till like 9 o'clock, it's uh, probably going to be a late a little bit light I mean lightish it's not gonna be like jet black but I love this look at this 10 of 7 look how light it is This is an awesome camp. I hope you're uh, enjoying it as much as I am. And um, yeah, I'm kind of, the nerves are kind of going away, you know, as I'm doing this wild camp. You know, when you're not at a campground and stuff like that, you do have to be extra aware. I'm just in a set of woods that, you know, that I like to come to and I figured I'd camp here, so here we are. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring you back in a little bit. I'm just gonna chill out and enjoy and keep messing with this twig fire and uh, I'll bring you back when we're in the tent or in the uh, tarp shelter and we'll do some dinner all right Oh my god. Well, before it gets too dark, let's just open up this MRE and see what we have inside. These things are always a uh, kind of a surprise. So I know this has sausage crumbles in it. This is an American MRE. All right, let's see. So this is the MRE. We have your vegetarian taco pasta. 
It has uh, sausage crumbles in it right there. If you want to read anything, just put it on pause. All right, let's see what else. We got the, the little heater bag that it comes in. I'm going to try and cook it in this. Pack of, of crackers. Ooh. <laughs> All right, what's this thing? This is a, a marble pound cake. Hmm. There's that. Marble pound cake right there. Nothing on the back. And little baggy spoon. Tea. Wow, they didn't give you coffee this time. Little mixed fruit right there. Maybe to go with the uh, pound cake. Uh, Lipton tea, some sugar, some salt and pepper, and a spoon. All right. And what is this? A blueberry pastry. Just generic blueberry pastry. So that's dinner tonight. So just wanted to show you the contents before it started getting too dark. And I'm going to cook that up in the shelter in a little bit. All right, so what are you guys up to tonight? What day is this? Um, it's Monday night, so that's when I'm out here. So I don't know what you're up to, but I hope it's a great week for you guys. And um, yeah, I'm going to cook dinner in a little bit. So I'll just see you back in a little bit. I'm just chatty, all right? <laughs> I'm enjoying my time out here. I've been feeding the twig stove. I've been just scrolling on socials and you know deciding whether I want to sleep with this open or closed I think I'm going to sleep with it open I'm going to just enjoy the fresh air and probably have half an eye open looking around so anyways all right I'll bring it back in a minute guys Ooh, this thing's heating up. Ooh, look at this. Oh, it's gonna explode. <laughs> it's boiling. All right, let's let it do its thing. I think that's gonna take about 12 minutes. Time has elapsed and we're about ready to try. Oh my God, it's like piping hot, piping hot. Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. Woo. This one worked extremely well. All right, put that on to the side. Oh my goodness. Ooh, 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 ooh. hot, 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 hot. Stand that up for a second. Uh, some wipes. Does this have a tear pouch? Do I tear this at all? All right, let's see, where is it? All right, let's see what happens. It 
it smells it smells all right it doesn't smell like anything too special it honestly smells like like a chef boyardee type of a tomato sauce Mmm. Come on, this is pretty good. It tastes like, um, it tastes like Spanish rice. It's got beans. It's actually pretty good. Let's see if I can just turn this on. Let me show you what this looks like. So this is that taco pasta. And this is what it looks like. It's not bad. Mmm. It's actually pretty good. Oh. So yeah, I've just been kind of sitting here chilling. <laughs> Got my trekking pole in the way. <laughs> Just been sitting here chilling, feeding the twig stove. Those type of stoves, they burn real quick because there's no way to regulate the airflow. It just sucks in the air and burns everything. So just been kind of feeding that and enjoying, enjoying nature. As you can tell, it's starting to get a little bit darker. It doesn't really translate well on film, but it is kind of getting darker in the, in the, in the woods around me. And uh, yeah, this is, uh, this is great. Can't wait to do some abandoned camping and I've just been sitting here thinking about, you know, what I have coming up and want to get into doing some hiking and I just got a lot going on, but you know, sometimes time isn't on your side or you want to do too much, you know, you want to do too much with not enough time, but you, you get, you get what I'm saying. Mm -mm. This is actually pretty good. I don't know if I'm going to eat this, you know, this marble cake or this um, blueberry pastry or anything like that. I might kind of save that for another camp out or maybe I'll have it for breakfast. Um, I don't know. We'll see what happens. You know, I'm kind of anticipating nightfall. I'm a little nervous. I mean, that's just, I mean, that's just normal. Anybody who says they're not, then they're in their backyard <laughs> but there is a little bit of that healthy respect i guess is what i'm trying to say for the wooded the wooded area and um i wonder if i'll hear any animals like i said i'm in the middle of the woods i mean way way off in the distance you know there's like civilization but yeah i am pretty pretty out there and um, yeah well oh what dog <laughs> not bad I'm going to sit here and eat this and keep the thermosel near me a lot of mosquitoes out sorry <laughs> and um, I'll just bring you back in a little bit alright mm -hmm. not bad kind of spicy actually <laughs> Checking my surroundings, <laughs> you know. Getting a little darker. It's not really coming into focus, unfortunately. Let me try. Just trying to show you. I don't know if you can see the little specks of light going off. Little fireflies all around me. Let's see if I can get a better shot. I don't know if you can see that. 
Yeah, you can see one. You can see a couple here and there. Yeah, look at that. It looks way better in person. All right. <laughs> I just wanted to show you that, guys. Way cool. It's really dark out, as you can see. <laughs> Gonna keep this fire going for a little bit. As you can see, I've gone through a lot of twigs. This thing's been burning for hours and hours, but that's okay. Um, yeah, just coming up on nine o'clock. You can see outside of the woodland, it is a little bit brighter. But in here, this is what it looks like. And then, yeah, I'll say goodnight in a little bit. Look at that sunset. You can barely see it through the trees. But, all right, I'm just gonna chill out for a little bit. Ooh, what was that? It almost sounded like thunder. Watch it rain. <laughs> oh well, if it rains, it rains. Oh yeah, speaking of rain, uh, I know this is like kind of a, a weird angle, but speaking of rain, oh, well, I'm just like peeking through the trees at the moon. It looks really cool. <laughs> but I will be rain testing the tent, the Dragoon, and I'll show you it here. A lot of people have asked me to do a rain test on it, so it's only fair that I do that and, you know, actually test it out in the rain. So that's what I'm going to do. So that'll be uh, an upcoming video as well. But in the meantime, I'm just going to chill out and, uh, yeah, stare at that moon. Kind of acclimate myself to these dark surroundings here. It's quite a different feel at night. how dark these woods are <laughs> oh my god it's about 10 30. fire's still popping gonna burn through the rest of that wood and uh yeah i'll say good night in a little bit this has been awesome look at this Oh, yes. Wow. Oh. Well, guys, I'm going to say goodnight. It's uh, about 11.30. <laughs> and, yeah, this has been awesome. Just letting the fire die out. It's basically embers. I mean, it's a twig stove. It's going to go out, you know. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to sleep with this all open. <laughs> I mean, obviously, i got to get back up and shut the camera off, but, yeah, this is the sleep situation. <laughs> see, it's comfortable. Oh, yeah, this is this is really comfortable, actually. So, anyways, guys, on that note, I will see you in the morning, and thank you for coming along. This has been incredible. I've always wanted to camp here. It's like, what the heck? It's like, I come here all the time. I do these setups. Why? You know what I mean? It's like, why am I looking over there? I've just realized I've been looking over there because there's a light that I have facing this way. Wow. <laughs> But yeah, guys, this is my uh, situation. Obviously, I got to get back up and shut the camera off. This is uh, my favorite place to come to, and day camp and all that. So I figured, you know something? Why wouldn't I come here at night, you know? Why wouldn't I camp out and uh, wild camp? So on that note, guys, good night. And I will see you in the morning. Good night. <laughs> And now I gotta get up and shut the camera off. <laughs> Got mosquitoes. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning.
morning guys it's 5 a.m birds started coming alive i probably could have slept for about another hour Ugh, i slept all right Ugh. Mosquitoes are a little bad this morning. I'm not getting bit, but because of the bug spray. But yeah, it's a little, it's a little buggy. It was awesome sleeping <laughs> in the wide open as opposed to being closed in. Oh my god, I can't believe I stayed here. <sighs> Sorry, guys. Mm. Yeah. Ah, good morning. <laughs> it's gonna be a hot one today. This is the next few days. It's gonna be like a heat wave. So I'm not looking forward to that. Guys, I'm gonna end the video here. I'm gonna make a cup of coffee. Um, like right now, <laughs> I'm making coffee right now pack it up and uh, i appreciate you guys coming along this has been awesome i am going to have some coffee i don't know if i'll do breakfast or not if i do you know I'll, I'll stick around but as of right now i'm going to get some coffee on and uh like i said stick around if you want till the very end of the video if you want to see some uh, if you want to see some abandoned adventures i'm just going to add that on to the end of the video but guys thank you for coming along i appreciate it have a great week. Bye. Hey guys, <laughs> let me back this up. Good morning. <laughs> I just happen to be back out at my favorite spot on a different day. It's like 6.30 in the morning because uh, yeah, I think I lost my like my I lost my accessories to my flex tail. It's either here somewhere or an animal walked off with it. But uh, yeah, anyways, that's enough about that. Please enjoy the following clips from some abandoned adventures, and um, I'll see you on the next one, guys. I gotta look for this damn thing. <laughs> Out of breath walking through the woods. That's the library right there. And I've been here before. I'm not gonna say exactly right now where I am, but I will give you some inside shots in a little bit. Well, I don't know if you can see that, but there's the church and the old chapel and what the animals. Oh, wow. Jeez. Oh, guys, it looks like there might have been a fire or something like that. But, uh, yeah, this is uh, the chapel. It is kind of nice to still see all the seats or the pews, rather, intact. All right. Well, I'll see you when I get down to the chapel here. All right, so real quickly, look at that. There's like an organ left behind. Oh, look at that, that's creepy. <clears throat> Excuse me. The old pulpit. Really not too much to see right here. Look at that. Wow. So yeah, I think I'm gonna just start doing this at the end of like my camping videos or whatever. I'm just gonna start showing you just little glimpses of what I've been up to, just little glimpses of these uh, abandoned adventures. 
Look at that up there. It's crazy. This is awesome. Here's the top. Looking down over the pulpit down there. So, yeah. Here's the chapel. Oh. <laughs> oh, look at this real quick. I'm not going to go up here, but some stairs right here. And that goes up to that area that I just showed you. Upstairs. Oh. <laughs> yeah, good times, good times. Not much to see in these rooms. Ooh, that's a bright red room. <laughs> but yeah, not much to see in these rooms here. I think this is just like some sort of like a admin or dorm room type situation. There's a bathroom right here. Face shields. Oh, bathtub. Alright, you got it. It's abandoned. Moving on. There's a big hole in the floor right there. This is the auditorium. There's the auditorium. Look at that. Pretty cool.